what's going on YouTube this is why it's so important to try to match for knife makers to try to match the pivot to the inside of the blade the best they can to keep the tightest tolerances they can because here is a smaller pivot from another XM18 and it measures in at .2500 inches and this pivot here measures two point I mean point two five zero five so it's ten hundred thousand ten thousand it's five ten thousand larger and the closer they can get the tolerances to match the inside of the the blade the less blade play there is possible see how far that blade moves doesn't move that much yet it still still swings freely so it's not going to bind at all then I'm going to put that pivot in here see this one measures 2505 so I'm going to put the smaller pivot in the blade then you'll see how much more the blade moves see just that small amount of material makes a big difference on how much blade play there is and it still swings the same no friction really so if these tolerances aren't perfect there there's a possibility for up and down and side to side blade play the tightest pivots I've seen to match up the best are you know Chris Reed they do a really good job on matching up the tolerances and keeping the tolerances the same on all their hardware so that's why you never really see one that has any blade play the pivots I've measured are all the same no variances Now I'm not saying this is a bad thing about Hinder, but these are just some simple things that could be paid more attention to in the future during assembly. All they have to do is measure the pivot size and measure the inside of the blade and try to match these up since there is uh, some slight variances in machining since these are made in house. I'm not complaining, not griping, just suggestions. See ya.